in New Zealand ones. Question number two, John Hayes. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What reports has he received on business confidence and the outlook for investment and jobs? Honourable, Honourable Bill English. Now, the ANZ last week released its business outlook for November. The report shows a net 61 per cent of businesses are optimistic about the year ahead, uh, just below a 15-year high. The retail sector is the most optimistic, recording the largest lift in confidence in November uh, to a 19-year high. A net 39 per cent of agricultural firms expect increased activity, also a 19-year high, suggesting a broad-based improvement in business confidence. A net 47 per cent of firms expect increased activity in their own businesses, and that's around a 14-year high. Investment intentions and hiring intentions are at the highest in 10 years. ANZ noted that this result suggests positive growth prospects for jobs in the economy because businesses have their confidence to invest more money and employ more people. Please. Supplementary question. What other John reports Hayes. has he received on New Zealand's improving economic outlook and how are interest rates expected to respond to higher growth? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the uh, New Zealand Institute of Economic Research recently released its quarterly predictions. Uh, therefore, they forecast a continuing recovery with growth of 3 per cent next year, in line with forecasts from the Reserve Bank and Treasury. Uh, they forecast that economic growth is likely to deliver more investment, more jobs and wage increases. Firms are advertising and hiring more, and hours worked in the economy have now recovered back to pre-recession levels. NZIR expects interest rates to rise in 2014 as higher growth starts to hit capacity constraints in the economy. This has been clearly signalled by the Reserve Bank for some time, and businesses are generally anticipating some interest rate increases. Supplementary question, John Hayes. Thank you, Speaker. How are business confidence and hiring intentions translating into more jobs and higher economic growth? Well, Honourable Speaker, Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, well, there's an ongoing improvement in the outlook for jobs. In the year to September, employment increased by 53,700 new jobs. Wages grew faster than expected and were ahead of inflation. Unemployment fell to 6.2 per cent in September, but it is, it is still too high. Uh, New Zealand's annual economic growth is currently 2.5 per cent, but as it, picks up, as it picks up and companies follow through on their intentions to hire more people, we would expect to see the creation of yet more jobs. Overall, this picture is reasonably encouraging, but there's plenty more work to do. Supplementary question, John Hayes. What steps is the government taking to build on this improved business and consumer confidence to help deliver investment, jobs and growth? Honourable Bill Mr. English. Speaker, the government is continuing a broad programme of microeconomic reform designed to support businesses to make the decision to invest another dollar and employ another person. And that programme is set out as over 300 initiatives in the business growth agenda. Uh, this is contributing to business confidence, but the credit for recovery belongs to people in New Zealand's workplaces who have been resilient and productive through difficult times, and they will be looking forward to the prospects of more workers alongside them in the workplace higher wage increases and some dividends from economic growth. Supplementary question, the Honourable David Parker. Does the same NZIER report for December that he just quoted say, Auckland house prices have surged to unprecedented levels relative to history and international experience. The average house price in Auckland now costs 10 times the average household income compared to the historic norm of three to four times. There is more borrowing and the risk from a potential fall in house prices is high. And if it does say this, 
Doesn't this imbalance in the economy, together with declining rates in home ownership, show that Nationals' housing policy is in disarray? Right, yeah. yep. Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, it doesn't show that. Auckland housing, <laughs> Auckland housing is too expensive. That is why the government started three years ago on a programme which has led to the announcement just a few weeks ago of several thousand uh, uh, so several thousand opportunities for new development and several thousand more will be announced before Christmas. I look forward to the opposition supporting the government's housing accords, its RMA reforms and its attempts uh, to free up the supply of new housing to make housing more affordable for New Zealanders. Question number three, right honourable Winston Peters. Mr. Speaker, this question is to the Minister of Immigration and asks, uh, does he stand by his statement and I quote him? I want to make